he said at one point, uh, there was a time at which uh, he knew corn almost as well as he knew people, and I had for it as much affection. To the Wallaces and millions of Midwestern farmers, corn was the backbone of America. Corn bought the land, it clothed the children, it fed the family, and it fattened the livestock. Throughout the Midwest, corn was celebrated with carnivals, palaces, and parades. For several decades, experts awarded prizes for the best looking ears at corn shows. Wallace saw, even as a high school student, that just because you looked at an ear of corn that was large and the rows were perfect and the kernels were big, it wasn't necessarily going to produce a plant that itself was productive. 15-year-old Henry Wallace challenged Perry Holden, the leading corn expert of the day. Wallace believed good looks did not guarantee good yields. What's looks to a hog, the boy asked, and then proved the experts wrong with a single crop grown in his backyard. Within a generation, the corn shows were dead. 